What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the definitive cereal tier list. For each episode, we take a cereal, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker, and this episode we're doing Captain Crunch's Chocolate Caramel Crunch. It's been a little while since our last Captain Crunch, and that was the Chocolatey Berry Crunch, which it managed to get a B. It's kind of a fun combination of chocolate and berry, which is the same rank as original Captain Crunch got, both those in that B rank, highest Captain Crunch cereals we've had. On the low end, we have had the E ranked Cotton Candy Crunch and Peanut Butter Crunch. Cotton Candy, just too much. Peanut Butter Crunch, shockingly hard. Like, really unsettling how hard that was. So, we kind of got a decent range for these Captain Crunch cereals. And Oops All Berries, got a D. Because you need that, that base piece, I feel like, with Captain Crunch, which this one, does seem to have so that's a good sign i like that a lot and this is only the second time that we've had chocolate in our cap crunch so hopefully it works out well again but let's just open it up see what this reverse box has in store for us Strong scent. All right, the chocolate scent seems a bit weaker. Okay. So visually, this is pretty much just you took crunch berries, changed the berries into chocolate. It's kind of what it looks like here. But of course, there is that caramel flavor, which is not in something like crunch berries. I'm assuming is on a sort of classic Captain Crunch piece. But it's not explicitly say that, but I feel like that's a safe assumption. Okay. Pretty solid first bite there. Got a, a good chocolate flavor down with that. And you're getting a bit of that normal Captain Crunch. And again, I think that's sort of where the caramel's coming from as well. Those classic pieces. Not sharp enough in that bite at least. Just sort of carve up my mouth. So that was a plus. But overall, pretty solid first bite. So far, I'm still finding the caramel flavor to be sort of the weakest of the flavors. Chocolate, obviously very present, and you're getting that original Captain Crunch piece flavor as well. And then after that is where the caramel's coming in. So I think it's still a good mixture. It's just not exactly what I expected with chocolate caramel being the main sort of focus on this. So that's a little bit of a, of a letdown. Not a huge one, because again, I still think this is tasting pretty good, and I'm, I'm into it. Just not what I expected. All right, the milk is looking a little chocolatey, so let's see how it tastes. Oh, all right, that's pretty good. Though, this might be one of the situations again where I'm picking up more of the distinct flavors in the milk than on the actual pieces, because I definitely feel like I got caramel there. I'm not just made a weird noise. I wonder if that got picked up. Yeah, I'm getting much more caramel flavor here. Yeah, I don't I don't know why that's happening. But pretty decent sort of caramel chocolate mix, but I think in the milk, the caramel's a bit stronger than the chocolate, just a little bit. And it's just much more distinct. It's kind of interesting, but that's fun. At, at least I know for sure that caramel is in there. I don't think the captain perfectly nailed what he was going for this time, but it was still pretty good. 
I'm not sure this surpasses the original Captain Crunch as sort of the strongest of the Captain Crunches, but I think this is definitely a a worthy successor <laughs> to sort of the Captain Crunch line. I, I think I like this more than something like Oops All Berries for sure, and I think a bit more too than just with Crunch Berries, because I think in that case specifically, I preferred having the flavor of the original Captain Crunch piece over some of the crunch berries but in this one that flavor isn't sort of the leading factor so it's just kind of a bonus addition and i think that works a bit more where you're getting mainly chocolate and then a bit of that original captain crunch piece and a little bit of that caramel flavor as well i think that works out really well but i don't think it surpasses the the top captain crunch so what i'm gonna do is give captain crunches chocolate caramel crunch a b same rank as normal Captain Crunch and the Chocolatey Berry Crunch, but I think similar to those, this just works out really well. And while it doesn't quite, again, nail what it was going for, I think the taste is solid enough and you got a pretty decent piece in there. Again, though, not sharp enough this time to cut you up, which does happen sometimes with other Captain Crunches. So that was kind of nice, but you're still getting that crunch and it's, it's not, not too hard like peanut butter crunch. And, I think it's just worked out a lot better than some of the other ones for me. I think the caramel was still a bit lacking. Like that's really the biggest change I would maybe make, sort of find a way to bring that flavor a bit more present in the piece, not just in the milk, but overall, pretty happy with uh, the captain's outing here. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've tried Captain Crunch's Chocolate Caramel Crunch and what you thought of it. This one for me just kind of appeared out of nowhere one day. So if the same thing happened to you and you're like, oh, what's this? And you, you had it, you liked it, let me know. Or you had it and you were disappointed, you can let me know. And now that the captain has sort of ventured out into chocolate a couple times, if there's any other sort of combinations you think he could do pretty well, you can share those ideas too. But until next time, stay delicious.